Hey everyone, Sam from 3D here. In this short video, I'd like to show you what is inside Sticks 3D Pack. Always, if you want to see what is new or what was new or something changed, please go to our like 3D.design web page, you know, and there you will be Sticks figures and you will see what is, what is new, but the, the concept will be the same, like the tutorial will work for you, even if we change a couple of things, like add new hairstyles or maybe pants, shoes or whatever, maybe new poses or animations. So, but yeah, it's basically for you who just downloaded Blender or new to Blender and want to help a little bit with what you can do and how you can easily squeeze 3D pack. The thing is that we made a lot of tutorials on our 3D channel. You can see, for example, here we have like absolute beginner, 3D guide, like objects, navigation, materials, lighting, rendering, final practice. So you can just go and practice and, you know, just have some fun and to, to learn like very basic of Blender because it's uh, easy to follow. It's pretty like the pace is pretty okay. So it's work pretty nicely. You don't have to, you know, be stressed and uh, just make popcorn and just do it. Okay, let's uh, let like just some inspiration you can do. Like all of these like characters are pre-made and this is like primitives and easy lighting things which you can recreate, you know, you can animate it. You know, like, you know, like it's, you can make some scene out of it or, or something like that or, you know, you can use stick figures everywhere. Okay, so let's jump to the blender. Now, what you can see here, we have prepared poses, like poses are here, they're nicely done and easy to change them. If you, one thing like, let's mention that you went through the things and know how to navigate. So now I'm just panning like with the shift and I'm holding the mouse wheel. It's how I'm panning. If I click, you know, the mouse wheel and hold it, I'm rotating and you know, like scrolling, I'm just moving in and out. But okay, yeah, I'm like right now in, in, I'm in object mode and uh, if I go to the pose mode, you can see like here is the animation and I need to toggle the sh asset shelf and now you can see all the possible poses, which you can just easily, I need to go here, select box, I just hold it, select box, now I need to, all of them and you can see that, uh, yeah, it's changing. If I want to change the pose, like for example, 67 or I want to delete all of them, I just need to select be sure that you selected all the bones. All the bones are blue, light blue. And then I just go here and delete. Easy. Now, objects here are, you know, keyframes. So they are keyframe for a specific pose, but you can turn them off. And voila, you can create your own pose. And here I can, you know, change it easily. You can even animate. Let's take a look. Like if I put the keyframe here, keyframe here, now I have the animation. Yeah, so it's pretty simple how you can like create your pose and uh, make it like squeeze the pack. Here, if you want, for example, change the hair type, you need to be in the pose mode. Click on this little thing. You know, it's uh, right now it's little blue, like light blue, and now it's selected. I just hit G, like you, can, you can see it like here maybe, and this is how you can move it. The same thing. But if you don't want to, you can go and hit G on the keyboard and now I just moving with it. Yeah, so let's change it to, for example, this one or let's find something funny. Yeah, for example, this one. And if you want to change like the colors, it's pretty simple because you can go here to material properties and easily just change the color. Voila, that's it simple as that or you can go here and to find the material you like because it was created on um, on the internet you can find many different materials even shaders shader is a little bit you know like it's something more advanced which we are not talking about right now in this uh, tutorial but you can definitely find some you know cool shaders gradients play with that because you know if you jump here to the shading tab and this is really beautiful here you can just on top of that add some other notes and, and to play. Yeah, but uh, if you want to just go further, definitely check out our tutorials. Okay, now maybe you're a little bit overwhelmed with uh, a lot of, lot of bones here. The easy way is basically you need to turn off some layers which you don't want to use, like here. You see, you can just turn them off. 
or you can just turn them on if you want and so on. So this is how you can easily change the rig. Yeah, that's basically it and also like a couple of tips like for example this one if I'm using the mirroring it's changing both the hands. A few moments later. Yeah, you see now I'm just changing both of the hand. You know, I'm using the X axis. Yeah, and that's uh, basically it. If you want to change, for example, like the, the format, uh, the PNG file, you want to have, for example, the video or JPEG here, you can do it in the output properties. If you want render properties, you know, sometimes you want to change um, like the render pro output properties, you can go and change the resolution. Now, if you want, you can go to render and render image. And basically it will render the image you just created like here. Okay, it's important that I deleted the previous keyframes here on the bottom because now I created a new one, like the, like the pose I wanted. Now I, it's, it's nicely done. I just wait for the denoise. Yeah, now it's done. Okay, for example, as one thing what I want to show you is the keyframes are made. So it's important like to, to delete it so it's not messy. And now we are using orthographic. You know, you can, you can Google it on the orthographic, the difference between orthographic and the perspective. Because you see, like, uh, this should emulate the real camera. You know, it, it, here is the fish eye. And now if I go closer, you will see. Like, you know, you can uh, play with that. Um, and like, you, you would have a normal camera. And now it's, uh, yeah. Can, can play, you can animate it, make different angles, rotate, like R, I'm rotating, G, I'm moving, and scale, but for this it doesn't work, it's not important, like you are scaling, basically. That's it, the one thing I'm getting to the active camera is zero keypad, so on zero, I'm just moving in and out, or if I want to go to view, or active camera, view, camera, active camera. Yeah, so yeah, if you wanted to change, for example, the colors, this is what we did. It's pretty simple. You can even, you know, change the color of the... So I now change it to the, to the black one. And now I see that also the legs needs a little bit of life. And I can just write it down and find the sofa. Yeah, so here is the search bar. Yeah, that's basically it. And uh, thanks to this, you can easily modify because, you know, you can start with that and to play later on with that, export for your needs, create your images, your scenes. And yeah, if you want to go further, definitely check out our YouTube channel because we have a lot of tutorials, even like animation tutorials and so on. And you can you can use a sticks there. And if you have any questions, please reach out to me at samuel at 3d.design. If you want to learn more about like stick persons, definitely go to 3d.design slash stick figures. Yeah, if you want to see more of our 3D packs, definitely go to 3D.design and see what you can create. It's lovely, the cool thing that they work together and it's, it's perfect and easy to just copy paste and create beautiful scenes. That was it. Thank you so much and have a great day. Bye bye.